run their fucking mouth. I don't understand why. If you don't like me, don't fucking like me. I don't give a fuck. Stop dragging me with fucking lies. It's relentless and it's bullshit. Um, so in case you guys didn't know, Ash274 is a psychiatrist. She knows everything about me. She, she knows what's true and what's not. And I base this on things that she said. She's my psychiatrist, my psychologist, um, my friend, my carrier, my, my mom. I choose not to confront who's basically a stalker. I choose not to engage with Why do I choose that? Because I'm intelligent enough to know that she's way below me. She's way too immature to even argue with. I see it in chat. I try going at her in chat just to see if she's worth going on panel with. She's not worth going on panel with. She's not even on my level. She's not even intelligent enough to fight with me. Then, you know, to see her yesterday, somebody showed me a piece of where she was flirting with whiskey and whiskey shot her down. Really? You gotta have what I had. You, you gotta be like flirt with whiskey because what about 180? What do you think 180 is gonna feel? But you're sitting there flirting with whiskey to the point that whiskey's drunk as a, drunk as a stump and even fucking shot you down. Mary Fuck up. This is why I say you're not even on my level. You're not even close to my level. You're not making, you got Ash274 fucking lying left and right about how I admitted that I have all these calls. You're a fucking liar. Seriously, why are they in here? But Pamela shutting them down is not going to do anything ever. I got Ash274 lying up a storm about shit. And what happens? These are their buddies. These are their friends. This one's all nasty. It's got all my hair mixed in. That is what I have. That is not a weave. It's called a ex extension. It's called a fusion tip extension. Learn your, learn the difference between a weave. My bottom teeth will be straight in three fucking months. Then what you got? Then what are you going to come after me for? And I don't mean just Wendy. I mean everybody. Anybody. If she's watching this live, big fuck you. I think I hear Brian's wife calling for help as she's being abused with a toilet with her head getting put in the fucking toilet. Get the fuck out of here, you fake ass bitches. Hey, Robbie. Video and show exactly what the fuck I said. Don't fucking sit there and tell me this shit, Wendy, you bitch. Pixie sticks. Guess what? Oh, why are you in here saying this? Why aren't you over there saying that? As you're over there joining in the bullying, get the fuck out of here. I'm so sick and tired. These people fucking drag me for months every fucking live. They lie about me every fucking live. They talk shit about me every fucking live. And you have the fucking audacity to come in here and make it out like I'm fucking bullying? Fuck you. Holy shit. I feel like Brian. How the fuck is that fat shaming? Tell me how the fuck that's fat shaming. You want me to play it again? That's what I said. That is what I said about it, Wendy. Stop twisting it. If you're so fucking insecure, then like I said, call 1-800-Nutrisystem. Because I did not fat shame at all, you fucking lying bitch. Fuck you, Wendy. Nobody body shamed you. And I do post pictures of myself because I don't have anything to fucking prove. I'm so sick and tired that I'm the only one that ever has anything to fucking prove. I don't have to prove myself. If you don't fucking like me, don't watch me. If you, why don't you fucking prove yourself? You're, I'm the only one that ever has to fucking prove myself. Fuck you. I owe you nothing. Nothing. Then she puts an email that is a fake name. That, a name that she created all by herself. Because there's no Thomas Cade in all Arizona. And if you had a lawyer, you would need to do it in Phoenix. And my lawyer traced it back to you. Yes, I know your last name. But I'm going to be nice and not give it out. So, yes, I know that you did that. Um... And I have 100% proof that you did that. So you can play your little fucking games, but I'm already on top of it. Your 300 videos are on private and IT guy and YouTube, very easy to get. So I would advise you to back the fuck off. And I mean it 100% because I'm telling you right now, if that shit is still up there Monday, I will call your motherfucking job. I will call your husband, what he really does. And I will let everybody know what the fuck you're doing and how psychotic you are and all your lies because you should not be working for a I'm telling you right now, you are fucking psychotic. You lie out your fucking ass. You lie about everything, everything. I have never, and I mean never, gone real life on somebody. I am about to go real life on you. Because just like um, people go after Ben because they're worried about him, I am fucking literally worried about your state of mind. I am a YouTuber and I call you. You don't know me. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, you are seriously fucking obsessed. I'm not threatening. I'm going to call. Knock off your shit, Kiki. I promise you. Or I promise you, I will start playing this game too. And if I start playing this game too, I will call your work, which I know what it is. And I don't know exactly where it is yet, but my lawyer's working on it. And it, it's a done deal. So I'm telling you right now, Kiki back the fuck off stop lying stop your bullshit and back the fuck off for those that are listening you know what michelle it doesn't fucking matter i am sick and tired of you guys throwing shit my way and the second that i fucking do it back then it's poor you poor you poor you fuck you that's how you treat me fuck you i have done nothing to you guys nothing i have done jack shit to fucking ozzy i've done nothing to you michelle I i'm fucking done with it you guys throw and throw and throw and as soon as i throw back then you're fucking oh that was a mistake no fuck you um, you're just misunderstood. It's probably Keck's fault that you're misunderstood because everything is Keck's fault. That's why I keep telling him, your neighborhood, we don't, we're done with the ghetto. We're, we don't want the ghetto. Keep your fucking ghetto asses over there and we will stay over here. I'm and crazy again. I was 27 years old and high as a fucking kite. And I openly admit that. I'm now 48. That was how many years ago, Lorraine? Being high as a kite and going into rehab that night? That's a big difference than you trying to run this bullshit narrative, Lorraine. So shut the fuck up, you obsessed bitch. See, now everyone's going on about it. Oh, damn, that bitch is crazy, blah, blah, blah. Um, Lorraine's entire channel is about me. Lorraine is obsessed. Lorraine, shut the fuck up, you stupid bitch. Connor, bitch, shut the fuck up, you dumb cunt. Oh, there's Batty Boop. You couldn't pay me to apologize. Batty Boop, I don't want your apology. You're an idiot. Rot Whiskey, go fuck yourself. I think I hear Diane calling you. Bye. If I send CPS to your house and there is pot there that's illegal in the state of Ohio and bongs and everything else, I would think twice about going real life on me, Brian. Especially having a brother that's a cop. I really would think twice about going real life. That Brian, do you know easily CPS, if I sent them that video about the toilet and let's not forget the one about um, Brian saying that he was going to kill himself and blame us. Remember that? You guys need to hear that again? Bye, Jenny.
I don't think CPS would take that lightly. That, that would cause the police to go to his house. Other streams. Are you fucking kidding me, bitch? Of course, people, I'm going to lurk in some streams. Of course, I'm going to watch certain streams. Fuck, my name is always talked about. There's nothing wrong with that. That doesn't make me a liar, you fucking moron. That If you think that's what makes me a liar, then you are the dumbest bitch that I've ever seen. That's why Brian was trolling himself as poopy pants. How embarrassing. It's exactly right. Panel is about me. How are we thirsty whores? She's a fucking cunt. She's just a loser. What a fucking cunt. If she was in front of me, I would bash her through the fucking wall. Then I would rape her and see how does it feel, bitch? Oh my God. You are a fucking cunt, Maureen. And you know what? And I will say this publicly again. If you were standing in front of me, I would fucking rape you lying. You're all fucking vile pieces of shit. Go ahead, Lorraine. Make a video about this, you fucking low-life cunt. Screenshots, I got the deets on you. And I'm like, bitch, my mom, get the fuck out of here, Mandy. You're such a fucking asshole. Fuck, Alex, release him. Call the fucking police. Call Patreon. Call my mother. You want my fucking mother's number? Ask Brian. He's already doxxed her. You guys are fucking crazy. They never said Iman needs to leave Barbie for me. Are you fucking retarded? Best friend. She's my best friend. You have money to buy fucking views. Why didn't you have money to fucking buy or something? You've done is lie and lie and lie and lie and lie some fucking more. And then you try to turn this around and make it about me. Own your fucking shit, you psychotic bitch. I am so sick and tired of it. You know why you want me gone, Marissa? Because I am the only fucking woman, woman enough that doesn't give a fuck if you come after me. Because everything you fucking say is lies. Now go ahead, Marissa. Make sure that you get all your little groupies to fucking. Oh, I want info on her. I want info on. Her. I want this. I want that. What do you need, Marissa? I'll give you everything. I'll give you anything you want. Now, bitches, I'm not fucking going anywhere. I have three motherfucking channels. You're not getting rid of me. Deal with it and move on. Leave me the fuck alone. Like everything, she could do anything. She is so pathetic that it's not even worth my time. Like she's not even worth my aggravation. She can't, she needs to put her kid in her mouth as much as she has my kid in her mouth. Like for real. I'm sure my haters have said stuff. They're like sitting there like fucking creaming over this. Oh, Savage's going after Laura. They said the same thing about everybody. Um. Uh, um. Is she fucking kidding me? After the dragging she's done to did she really sit here and fucking say that someone that treated you well, that you should give humanity to? Whoa, whoa. I didn't, I didn't exactly, who dreams of being fake plastic, acting like a two-bit fucking whore, never does anything with her child, doesn't even fucking help him at all, believe me. She's the last person I'd want to be. Believe that. I'd rather be fucking anybody but her. You fucking moron. And I speak not only that, but, um, now I lost my train of thought. Um, 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 exactly, Anita. Um, so, yeah, just do me a favor, keep my fucking name out of your mouth, because you can't even get shit right. But, again, just like, calling you by your name, how you like it. Get the fuck out of here, you dumb bitch wife involve herself on Keck's channel when that woman is vicious and belittles women daily. No, whore. I only belittle people that fucking deserve to be belittled. And that would be you. I'm not the one that's bashing on a fucking smear campaign. My supposed friend who's giving me thousands of dollars. Keep getting brainwashed by your fucking leader, you sick bitch. Pushes her tits all the way out. Hi, Iman, with her fucking tits all out. Marissa, you are a cheap fucking whore. You have nothing. You don't even have nice tits. They're fucking too big and they're fake and they're nasty. Nasty. And the way you prance around like you're fucking 12. Like, my daughter has more class than you. My daughter is fucking 14. She has way more class than you. And people with no class shoot to you. Hence, the people that surround you. Hey, MGL didn't speak of any drama for months. Laura Keck, on the other hand, never stopped and always threw shade at MGL. Are we back in the fucking Twilight Zone? Is Kimmy C, like, just that dumb? Because I really think she's that fucking stupid. Tell me you don't want to punch this girl in the head. Like, for real. Sorry. I know Katie turns on me, that's fucking easy. She doesn't even fucking talk to me. She doesn't fucking reach out to me. She goes on a live with a thousand fucking haters. Are you fucking kidding me? I asked her for a link. I asked her to fucking uh, say to come here. Her. And my Patreons and my subs have fucking respected her. She's full of my haters. Full of it. She doesn't say a fucking word to them. She doesn't say a word to the very people who fucking burned me. She doesn't say a word. Do you see me on fucking freaking out about it? Do you see me fucking going off on her about it? No, she's a fucking grown adult. Liar, deflect, blame of Keckle. Fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You want to know why you're a piece of shit? Because karma's not going to get me because I haven't fucking done anything. You fucking asshole. But go make up more troll names. Go fucking pretend to, you know, that you have a life and only think about me. You probably fucking masturbate thinking about me. I'm not her. I don't need to turn to a fucking haters. Where she's turning to all mine. If I wanted to be a fucking dick, unlike most, I'll keep this fucking stream up. She can hear exactly what I fucking said. Oh, wait. Let me forget. Katie doesn't watch my fucking streams. She's such a great friend. She's never even been in my fucking live. See, this is what pisses me off. Suck it up with Buttercup. You are as fucking stupid as Camelo. You really are that fucking stupid. Because how many fucking times have I said, that is not real? How many fucking times do I have to say it in one goddamn night? That is not real. That number can't be real. You fucking morons. Then come in here and twist it. Like, this is why I can't deal with their fucking stupidity. It happens all the time. It's like he's blackmailing me. Brian, you can't blackmail me. You don't scare anybody. You're a fucking loser. You're a lowlife loser. They know that struggle. Who the fuck is Brian to run his mouth with fucking $10,000 sitting in the bank? And he pays less than 100 fucking dollars a month for rent in his rent stabilized fucking apartment. And he gets fucking SSI. I pay fucking $1,200 a month out of pocket, plus another $600 in bills, plus fucking, um, you know, gas and after school activities and $300 here and $200 here and $400 here and fucking dog food and dog vets and doctors. I don't even have insurance. And guess what? I somehow survive. But if I put a PayPal link because I need help, fuck you, Brian. Fuck you! Uh... Diane? But Diane never called me Keck. Like, really, never did. Um... Like I said, if they were in a boat, and I had- if we were all in a boat, and I had one life preserver left, and I had to give it to one of them, I'd fucking throw that bitch in the water, throw my and I'd watch them sink. And that's the God's honest truth, all three of them. And if that makes me a cold-hearted bitch, oh well.